Have you ever tried opening a bottle with your hands? It doesn't seem to work. But what happens when we use a bottle opener? It opens in seconds. Why does this happen? It happens because a bottle opener is a simple machine. Simple machines help us to work in an easier and faster way. They help us do work by applying force at a convenient point which either changes the direction of the force or increases the force applied. Some examples of simple machines are a lever, wheel and axle, pulley, inclined plane, screw, and a wedge. Let us first study about the lever. The famous mathematician and inventor Archimedes had once said, Give me a lever and a place to stand, and I will move the earth. Archimedes invented many things, but not the lever. Yet, what he said was the law of the lever, which was proven by him using geometric reasoning. To understand why he said so, let us take an example. By using a simple machine like a lever, how can we move an object without picking it up? An interesting way to do this is by making use of a rod, a small stone, and an object. Let's place a small stone underneath the rod. It is used as a support for the rod. The rod is arranged in such a manner that it can move freely around a fixed point, which in this case is the small stone. This point about which a rod can freely move is called the pivot point or fulcrum. Now let's place a small object on one side of the rod. As someone uses a downward force on the opposite end of the rod, the object gets lifted upward. This is because the rod acts as a lever. The weight lifted by the person is the load and the point of pivot is the fulcrum. The force that has been used is called the effort. So let's perform an activity to see how a simple machine can pick up an object without lifting it. For this activity, we need a simple ruler, an object or pencil sharpener to rest this ruler on, and an object to be lifted. For example, this cute little elephant. We will be lifting it with only one finger. Now let's use this ruler as a simple machine or a lever to do this task. I will place the pencil sharpener right in the middle for the ruler to rest on it. The ruler will act as a lever, the pencil sharpener as a fulcrum or support, and the load is the elephant that I have to lift. When I place the ruler over the fulcrum and its edge just below the load, I am able to lift the load simply by applying very little effort on the opposite side. So, a lever is arranged in such a manner that it can move freely around a fixed point called the fulcrum. Levers therefore have three parts. The fulcrum or pivot point, the load, which is the object that we need to move, cut, squeeze, or etc., and the effort the place from where we need to apply the force. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video on the different types of levers. To get more answers to the latest HOTS questions, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website.